All right, so we're gonna be making some stuff that looks kind of like these. You'll notice that I'm using line segments. That is a point and a point and the line that runs between the two points. But I'm creating kind of an overall image, not just one line that runs between places. So I'm creating constellations like Moreau did for his pictures. So, um, and you can see there are a couple of different ways to do this that I've tried. So we're gonna be doing it on a different color sheet of paper, but um, I want you to look at this one because I made a mistake on this one. I want you to not create shapes. And you can see here by overlapping these two lines, I accidentally made a triangle. So um, the idea is to not overlap anything so that you never form full shapes, that you just have lines that, that create a constellation. So I'm gonna use this lovely sheet of orange paper. Actually, this one's bent. I'm gonna use this lovely sheet of blue paper. And um, I'm going to put 25 dots. So one, two, three, four. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just making them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, so right now it's kind of like stars in the sky and I've got all these points. And I'm going to use a thin Sharpie to go to make um, connections between these points, so line segments, and try really hard not to make shapes. If you really want to, you can use a ruler. Um, I'm just doing this this way, hoping I don't make it too ugly. Um, you can make the same dot go to different ones. So like that, this dot goes to three different points, actually four. Um, and I just kind of keep doing this Trying really hard not to, like I said, connect it to any, um, oops, any specific um, pattern. I'm just kind of going with the shape. And if some of them bend a little bit, it's fine. The idea is to try to keep them basically straight, but... And then like as I'm doing it, I start to be able to go, oh, well, it would look better if I did a bunch coming from this point, maybe. Oop, I made a shape by accident, so I'm just going to make that dot bigger. Um, Ta-da! So, um, you know, there were other ways I could do this. Um, this, even though all the dots were the same, if I made this pattern again, I might make a completely different design. So, um, and then the fun thing is if you do several of them, you can start to kind of connect them in weird ways, like kind of like make them go together. I could overlap this one so that it's like this. And then put this one on this side of it. I could cut them and create pattern. Um, so we're just playing with line segments to create designs today. And um, it's our first step in understanding ways that line can create art. This is probably the most um, simple and basic, but can create very interesting and unique patterns.